You mentioned that these movements, the social reform movements, begin or have their origins in the South and then are gradually moving north towards the US and, and Europe. Is there not the fear that, as I, I sense this especially in Europe, that these old ideologies cannot adapt to this diversity and this decentralized type of, of functioning and will in fact once in the northern context try to sort of uh, pressure themselves or force well, themselves on the side? I mean, if you really look at it in detail, there are plenty of problems, uh, both in the south and the north. Uh, there's a lot of dictatorial control. So the control over the World Social Forum meetings and activities uh, in Brazil, in India, is heavily influenced by centralized groups in those countries. Uh, to the extent that participants often don't know what's going on. Uh, things are being decided somewhere and you don't exactly know where. Uh, the European component, which is mostly French-based, uh, comes from a highly authoritarian tradition. Uh, uh, French, the French left is an extremely authoritarian tradition in its entire background and secretive. Uh, so you don't, and they're d pulling a lot of strings in the background that nobody quite understands. In fact, the friend of mine who was on the directing committee, the committee that directs, that was sort of organizing the meetings, that told me last year that uh, it was like being in the Politburo, but not knowing who was in the Kremlin. You know? I mean, the or orders were coming from somewhere, and they somehow had to adapt to them. Uh, and they themselves were imposing structure, and the local the groups who were participating didn't like it, because they're mostly much more kind of libertarian in the European sense, uh, and uh, they didn't want to be controlled. So there's plenty of internal contradictions there. Uh, you can see it in the Workers' Party in Brazil, for example. I mean, it's a kind of a mixture of uh, mass popular organizations and plenty of authoritarian control. That's one of the problems they're having right now in Brazil. Uh, so yeah, all the traditional problems are there. They didn't disappear. And these are you know, kinds of struggle going on to try to maintain the, uh, the structure of a a really participatory uh, organization which is free and internally democratic uh, within the framework of uh, uh, a history of uh, authoritarian domination and just tendencies towards it. I mean, any of you who are active in groups, small groups or large groups, know that there is a, just a natural tendency. You just have to resist uh, towards centralization of control and authority. Um, there just are certain people who are going to be interested in, and willing to take on responsibilities and uh, make decisions and others are too busy or not interested enough or whatever. And groups can tend towards a, a highly authoritarian bureaucratic control and those are just tendencies you've got to constantly be aware of and overcome. And when you get the huge international movements like these, of course, of course it's there. It's not so much ideological, you know, because the there is no ideological center, but there is a there are several control centers, and they're pretty obscure and uh, quite disruptive. They make people pretty unhappy, and rightly. You know. So those are problems that have to be overcome in these movements. And if they're not overcome, they may destroy them. In fact.